Undoubtedly and unfortunately, you have heard about the opioid epidemic, which is ravaging Ohio terribly. What can be done? Where can God fit into the picture? Well, in reality, God needs to be the source and the focus. And there are some individuals from the Paulding area who are starting an incredible ministry, Power to Change. And with us are Dwight Stoller and Colette Brown to share about this neat, important ministry that's, that's starting. Tell me about Power to Change. Power to Change came about as a result of a Daryl Strawberry came to our area last year. Mm -hmm. And then there was a forum at the uh, Paulding County Fairgrounds. And um, then I met with Judge Tiffany Beckman, who's doing an incredible job in drug court. And she said, you know, it's great, but I have people that fall away because they don't have support. Mm -hmm. So seeing that need, um, I'd been part of a, a ministry called Celebrate Recovery in Fort Wayne for eight years, and I knew that I had an answer, how to provide hope. So researched and come up with uh, living free as a remedy. And um, Judge Beckman actually went to training in January, so she is on board. Um, but it's, it's an awesome series of small group studies to help people um, recover, but also preventive. Uh, so we're really excited about it. So what kind of person do you think would be interested in being a part of or attending these uh, small group studies that Power to Change is going to be having? Really anyone that has an issue, and I think we all have an issue <laughs> of some sort. Um, it could be growth, uh, growth maybe you just um, want to grow deeper uh, in the Lord and uh, we talk a lot about freedom and the freedom that we can find in Christ when we understand who we are in Christ and um, that he wants us to be free and live abundantly and a lot of times um, we get chained down with um, public perception or just mm -hmm. what Satan's lies mm -hmm. what what he tries to tell us um, I would be a in the concerned persons group. I had a daughter that went through uh, drug court and drug addiction. And um, I wish I would have had a group like that at mm. that time where I could have had other parents that were concerned about their children because we knew they were going down the wrong path. And, and it does start to consume you and it does start to change your daily life and how mm. you interact with people and how, how you feel valued even with God. So really, anybody with any type of situation, depression, um, there's 12-step programs, um, there's help for just about any issue. So. You mentioned that Judge Beckman also has gone through the training. Yeah. So obviously this is also a, a great opportunity for individuals who have graduated from drug court, mm -hmm. have felt the change of mm -hmm. drug addiction, alcohol addiction, and want to stay on that clean path. Amen. Yeah, we've got people who are getting involved in our program who've been through drug court. Mm -hmm. Why is it exciting that this is more than just a program, that this is a God-directed program? There's, there's a lot of programs that exist. Mm -hmm. You know, anybody can go find a program, <laughs> but God is added into this, yeah. which in my opinion should be the forefront always. I, I look to the Word of God. I mean, first of all, we have the Great Commission. It says, go into all the world and make disciples. Okay, so, so we're here to make disciples. But two, the second greatest commandment, Christ says to love your neighbor as yourself. And how can, how can we go on without caring about these people who are having problems? And then three, in uh, it's what, 2 Corinthians 1, where he talks about those of you will bless people in ways that you have been blessed. So many of us have been through some of these challenges ourselves, and we want to be able to give back. So, I mean, we've got three biblical, uh, almost commandments to be doing this. So it's, it's a sense of this is not about us. We don't want it to be about us. We want uh, through prayer, and we're continually in prayer, that this is, about, this is about the Lord looking to Him for, you know, the curriculums are great, but the curriculums aren't going to save people. And, the, and facilitators are great, but we're not going to save people. It's going to take the Holy Spirit of God to reach into people. So that, that's exciting. So Power to Change is the name of the ministry that's mm -hmm. just getting underway. Right. So people who are watching this right now may be individuals who um, know that they need to come to these groups. Maybe you've got somebody who wants to be a part of Power to Change, the ministry itself, mm -hmm. and we'll tell people how they can get involved. Or there's kind of the Power to Change kickoff event that's coming up 
on July 20th, and that's open to everybody, and that's the Living Free Community Seminar. Talk about that seminar. Um, we have Daniel Shrek from Fort Wayne, Indiana coming, and he will um, lead the seminar. You go through one of the books, and you get a very good uh, understanding of, of how the curriculum is set up. What I really like is you start with a, a meeting with God as the first mm -hmm. section, and then you have um, kind of an introduction into the topic that we were talking about. Maybe um, it would be disappointment for the day. And then you have a whole section of scripture where you, you talk about, you know, when you're feeling disappointed and how mm. to react to that. Mm. Then there's an application process. So what did you say in the beginning? What does God say about it? And how are you going to apply that? Mm. Because if we're just hearers of the word and not doers, mm. um, you know, in our in our own personal lives and you know to others, we're not going to get anywhere. And um, so I just I just really liked. It's a very simple um, to understand. You don't have to be a Bible scholar. Mm. You don't have to know anything about the Bible. You know, to be able to go through one of these classes and but it just tells you what God. God says about the situation that you're in. And Dwight, that first class, that seminar, it's coming up July the 20th. It's around the corner. It is. Mm -hmm. Tell us the location and information on uh, how people can register. The location is gonna be at the Presbyterian Church in Paulding. It's just north of the square. And um, to register, you can go online to powertochangepc.business.site. Um, also, feel free to give me a call or text on my personal phone at 419-203-1881. And additional, there's a connection at Facebook, isn't there? Yeah, Facebook, Power to Change PC. And you can find the connection to sign up for the website there, or the seminar there. And people need to hurry up and do it, right? They shouldn't sit around and wait and think about it. Yeah. They need to make their decision, maybe like right now and go ahead and sign up right now. There, there's a reason for that. It's that we need to know how many manuals to order. Um, I mean, for, for $30, uh, for $10, if you're uh, a resident or work or have a church in Paulding County, you can come and get a meal plus a $12 book. Mm. And um, yeah, but we need to know who's coming so we know how many manuals to order. Okay, so again, that's the Living Free Community Seminar taking place July 20th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Presbyterian Church in Paulding. Now there is a, it's only $10 if you live or work in Paulding County, but don't let that deter you if you don't live in Paulding County. It's only $30, and you just gotta think about the information that you're gonna mm -hmm. gather from this event. Uh, who wants to live in chains? Wow. Nobody wants to live in chains. God does not he did not design us to live in chains and taking the steps to break free is so important so that we can truly be who God has called us to be. If you need more information, we've shown you the information on the screen of who to call and where to go. And uh, again, that is power to change pc.business.site or you can call 419-203-1881. But if for some reason you can't get any of that, you can't get it all written down, just give us a call here at TV44. We will make sure that you get all the information that you need so that you can sign up and be a part of this event, Living Free Community Seminar, July the 20th at the Presbyterian Church in Paulding. And don't forget about the Power to Change ministry. Possibly you wanna be a part of that ministry, or maybe it's something that you know you want to attend. Don't give up. If life's been tough, if you've gone through difficult situations, if you've been in that road of drug addiction, don't give up. God has a plan for your life, and he truly, truly wants to see you living free.